welcome to a short series of videos showing you how to use AVR in Atmel Start. We're going to be using one of the Getting Started series of example projects in Atmel Start and here you'll find some training materials and these videos linked through the user guide. So what you will be, we will be focusing on here is the event system around the Tiny817 and what we will be doing is using an RTC overflow to trigger an event and then using this event we will um, start an ADC conversion. When we start the ADC we will set the ADC up in a windowed comparator mode and when we are outside that window we want to get an interrupt to then do something. But it means that most of the time we'll be able to stay sleeping. Okay, let's have a look. So, from the Start Home page, you can click on Browse Examples and type in Getting, as in Getting Started. You can see a number of different projects here which have um, training materials and some of them, for example, hands-on training associated with the user guide. We are interested in AVR, so we click on the user guide and you can see um, a link to this video series here. Okay, so we can open this exa example. And we can see a number of components um, added to the project, RTC, ADC, UART, and event system. Uh, clicking on the event configurator, you can see how this project is set up. Um, I'm going to reset this to device defaults, um, just so that I can show you how you can configure it. Dragging onto an event channel, you need to make sure that you can enable the event channel, and then you can configure the conversion on event. So just going back to the save project, I can click on the dashboard and here we can see the RTC is set up and I'm going to select a prescaler of 32 and I want this to overflow four times a second. We can see that with a 32 prescaler um, that we have a frequency of one kilohertz on the RTC. So um, we want a period of about four times a second and that's all we need to do on the RTC or that I, all I'm going to note about the RTC. So we have analog input 6 um, on the ADC. The ADC is enabled and significantly we have it outside a certain window. I'm going to make it above 200 or below 100 as the window just to draw your attention to those numbers. Um, the UART we can see that we've enabled the TX and I've shown you the event system. The pin mux, we can see that we used analog input 6, uh, which you can see here, and then you can see the UART, RX, and TX as the other things being used in this project. I've shown you the clocks, and now we can go to export the project. Um, note that, especially for AVR, that IR Embedded Workbench is quite an important community and um, an IDE, so here you can find details on how to import to, uh, to IR. Um, getting started AVR events, I'm going to download it for Studio. And now I'm going to pull Alt Tab, and drop it into Studio, and ATtiny817 events. If I unplug and replug my kitten, you'll notice how we get a welcome screen for the 8.7 Xplain Mini. Here I have a link to technical documentation, for example, and scrolling down here, kit user guide and a zip file where I'll find schematics, etc. So what I'm going to look at is, um, well, let's just run this project. So we should be able to first just click on tool and select what we've got plugged in and then we should be able to start without debugging. Now what I need to do is use the data visualizer tools data visualizer. I'm going to if you're new to the data visualizer click on the question mark here and you'll get an overview of the different use cases and you're for example we're going to be using the graph you can click on the graph for more details um, of how the graph works, etc., and a configuration example just to show you how to configure 
um, the graphing elements. So I'm going to click on a serial port as a starting point, COM7, connect, and I can see that I have hex values. Now I can modify my part and I can see there's a certain window I'm not getting results as expected and now if I just use a graph and drag my COM port down, plug it in, I'm going to make sure I cover the full range of my ADC and then uncheck fit to Y, scroll by time and plot points. Uh, otherwise it will connect the dots as I start um, moving the ADC. So now you can very clearly see a certain window where we are not getting ADC um, interrupts and so just note that when we're in this period uh, it's just the events which are being triggered and there's no interrupts the, C, uh, the CPU stays asleep and when I'm out of that window then again we get some interrupts when something is happening and we wake up the CPU. So in the next series of videos we are going to be building this example up from scratch.